It's test drive time, 1969 Chevy Chevelle. I love the color on this. 396 under the hood. Needs a fan shroud so you can have a little protection there. Power steering, power brakes. Aluminum radiator. Got the SS wheels, one of my favorite wheels. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. I love the graphic kit going down the side. Nice chrome. That's a four-speed car with the bucket seats. Guys, throughout this video, I'm going to be pointing out flaws. Any kind of issues, chips, scratches, rust dents. How does it run and drive? You'll know. If you have any questions by the end of the video, you can call me, 615-822-4444. And we'll be happy to take more detailed pictures and more videos for you and send them your way. For now, hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so we got some nice door panels in this one. Interior is also super clean. Uh, there's some little lock on the console here. The dash needs to be cleaned up more, and you need a dash pad. You can see this one's kind of cracked up. Got some overspray on it. Show you the mileage. There's overspray on the gauges too. Carpet looks good though. It's in decent shape. Your back seats and your package tray is also in decent shape. Headliner, mechanics headliner needs to be stretched out. Somebody put it in, but they didn't get it tight. New light. Let's start her up, let her warm up. I backed it out before we went to lunch, so it's been a good hour since she's been started. Lower motor's already on, it ain't doing anything. Radio looks kind of old. It's not doing anything either. Wipers, do they work? Yeah, slow, but they work. Let's see if they cut off. Okay, yeah. They're kind of high though, it needs to be adjusted. Turn signal, it's lighting up, not flashing. Lighting up, not flashing. Place your bets, you think the horn works? We'll try it out. Let's look in the glove box, see if there's anything in there. Ashtray. Decent. Horn. Not hooked up. All right, let's hit the road and see what else we can find. Okay, guys, getting ready to roll out here. Got y'all set up on the camera. Uh, we're gonna take off down the road. And of course, anything I see, we'll go over, just like I said. This is the first time that I have driven this ride. Try reverse. Stop, no, no seat belts in this one either. See what we got going on. is floating around so I do believe it's working right. Throttle's responsive. Carburetor feels nice and clean.
parking lot. We'll get some outside shots. We'll end with picking out the flaws like we normally do. I try to keep things in order so you know where to go in the video. Guys, check that description out. It is loaded with useful information. All right, let's do this. I'll be back. Okay, guys, always shaking my shifter, ain't I? <laughs> Here we go, we're rolling out. She seems to be running good, she's staying cool. Test drive, I've been out here at least 45 minutes. Um, got some imperfections on the paint I want you to see. Got a little bit of extra wax left over too that I'm gonna get the guys to get off. Um, I try to have them have all that stuff off before the video. I just kind of trusted the process today and went for the test drive. Because I'm always doing these videos ahead of time, trying to get them done for you. So today is Friday, the 31st, I believe. Yep. Yeah. This car here, good in-town cruiser. You hop up on the highway, you're pushing 3,500 RPM, probably around 60 mile an hour. A lot of old cars are set up that way. And you can change that out with the gear in the back. Manual turn signals here. Uh, I do believe the flasher's out. 
get a new flasher, it'll start flashing there. Bump in the road here, give her a listen. Super smooth. Yeah, that was nice. I think the test drives went well. Like I said, I've been gone 45 minutes checking everything out. We drove about three, four miles. And I got an overall idea of what's going on with the car. Stick around, picking out the flaws is coming up next. That's at the end of the video. Chips, scratches, rust dents. And like I said, uh, got a little bit of extra wax left over on this one. So I'm gonna go back here and let them clean it up. Guys, thanks for watching. Well, I brought her on back to the lot because I've seen a little bit of overspray and some wax and stuff left on this car. And I kind of went over it real quick and got all that stuff off so I can present you a good walk around. Also, I buttoned up under the hood a little bit. I didn't have the clips, which they have the clips that go with these. So, honestly, I use some zip ties for now just to get them up where they need to be. I like to make them all nice and clean. I did use the little brackets, but I got them running on top of the valve covers. I just think it looks better that way. Some people will tuck them and go up under. Now, I noticed on this side, it's right around that steering, so I gave it some slack so it wasn't rubbing up against the steering, but the boot is. This boot right here should be shorter. If you get a nice short one, you won't have that issue. But the wires, somebody went and bought, and they look nice, they're clean, they're good to go. <clears throat> when it comes to like overspray and whatnot throughout the video and the test drive video, I come back, I old the latch. Somebody painted the latch. It needs to be cleaned off. That's going to make the door shut nice and easy. And I greased the latch for now. You can see I kind of knocked off a lot of that overspray that was on the dash and everything. Uh, just a quick wipe because, you know, I like, I detailed for a long time, guys. <laughs> so it was bothering me. And, uh, of course, I knocked off some of the wax and stuff that I've seen. But some of this compound's down in the cracks and I couldn't get it. Um, I have to have some little fine brushes and whatnot. What we're going to do is walk around. I'll show you any issues that I see. We're going to be looking for scratches, rust, dents, chips, just problems, flaws. Starting up in the front, nice clean bumper on this one. I noticed on the headlight bezels, some of the paint's starting to come off. The grill seems decent, still a little bit edgy. Over this front end, you got a little chip here. Just a small amount of compound down in there. And down this side. Tires look good. Up and over our fenders. A little bit here in the corner too. Spot there, that's compound. It didn't all come off. I basically just ran over it. A wash mitt and a guy back here kind of tried to get it off of some clay bar and stuff it needs a good speed but the paint is not actually pretty decent little bubbles in the paint back here though can't get that out chip in the middle of the door little spots here Tiny little bubbles in the stripes there. Top of your fender. A little bit still here. And you can see down in the uh, jam there. Still got some compound. 
it's starting to come off but i mean it's it's just kind of baked in it needs to be scrubbed off soap and water like i did is not going to take it off so I might have to spend some time because this is a beautiful car it definitely deserves it little spot there a little bit of pitting on the chrome back here back bumper has been replaced seal looks pretty good in the trunk we were spraying all the edges and stuff and we got a little bit of water in here not that rain will get through but the pressure of a hose did you can see a little bit of drips here and there package tray down with the trunk lid now somebody with a speed buffer will end up getting all this stuff off every bit of it it's just a little bit of compound down in the cracks light scratches on the back window all your trim is nice and clean put it down this side of the car dents here in the back scratch there spot here a little bit of wax there that come off some at the bottom too. See some up in there. Somebody got a hair up underneath the stripe. Look at that. Can't pull it out. <laughs> little bubble here on the back here I don't know what that is it, again a good speed buff a lot of these little bitty imperfections in the paint will come out good a spot there imperfections on your pillar still got a bunch of compound down in this side needs to be scrubbed out real good Been around the outside, let's go ahead and check out the interior. back window's got some scratches on it. Headliner. Yeah, old mechanics headliner here. Needs to be uh, stretched back out. Ooh. 
you got a little dirt dirt there. I'll throw that on out. The dash right here, it's not in the greatest shape. You got some cracks, some little busted spots. Got some overspray on it still. Somebody will probably end up changing that piece out. Hole there. But the interior on this one looks good. Dash. Also, probably need a new dash bed. New light there too. down with the hood got some little imperfections here little white dimples scratch here On the inside line of this fender, it's got a light little scratch all the way down it on the inside. You see that little white one? No spot here on the hood. That come off. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe. If you have any other questions on this car here, uh, we'll go over it. We'll, we'll do extra pictures, some more videos. You can see the trim here. It's kind of messed up too. Make sure I get that little spot. Sure I did, but make sure. But yeah, you can call us 615-822-4444. The door on this one, they painted the latch. So it's got to be shut firmly. Uh, a little grease, maybe, maybe some acetone or something in there to kind of peel off. But you see it does shut and you just kind of help it. Um, just little stuff on this car. It's beautiful. The paint looks good. I definitely would drive it exactly how it is. I love the wheels. Pocket seats, four speed, big block. I mean, 69 Chevelle speaks for itself. Guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.